We're live. We're here. Yay. Our wonderful women. Hello, everyone. Happy Thursday, AKA Friday Eve. Welcome, welcome to another episode of, actually, this is the finale episode of season one, BB Circle Chats, y'all. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that we have made it this far. It has been a exciting, um, amazing, exhilarating journey. And I am Vanessa, I am your host for tonight. I am the founder and CEO of Sunny Days Creative Studio. I provide website design and um, I am also Tech Bay. That's what a lot of my clients refer to me as um, for online coaches and creative entrepreneurs. I really make sure that, you know, we enforce some strategies to help them make some money online, okay? And I'm going to introduce y'all to the rest of my co-hosts. Take it away. I'm Jazz. I'm a foreign language specialist, and um, I'm the president and founder of Multilingual and Philanthropic Incorporated, helping students, entrepreneurs, as well as uh, businesses and professionals. Um, seek international opportunities. Uh, Kat, you're on mute. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> um, I'm Kat and I am a show it website and graphic designer. I help creative entrepreneurs and service-based businesses level up and show out, show up and show out. <laughs> Yes. I'm Julia Spector, and I am the founder of Impact Design by Julia. I am a creative marketing specialist and have worked with creative entrepreneurs, coaches, and larger organizations and nonprofits in a variety of different creative services from video editing, web design, branding, um, creative marketing consultations, etc. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you, ladies, for introducing yourself. And for everybody who is tuning in live, as you are coming into the circle, make sure that you drop your name, where your location is that you're checking in from, and what type of business you have, okay? We're all women who have online businesses or who are aspiring to have online businesses, and we really want to make some genuine connections with each other during this live and not just during this live, but after. So if you are catching the replay, I encourage you to do the same as well. And we will be carrying these conversations on and on, okay? So let's just jump right into it. The theme in the collective for March is refined. So we know that actually it is spring. Yay, Yay. finally here. <laughs> no more winter. Yeah. Cherry blossoms of DC. <laughs> Yeah. You can see like little sprouts coming out the ground. Not here yet. I'm oh, a little too for that. Ish. A little delay in Canada. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, you know, it's now that we're officially in spring, whether or not it looks like spring, okay. We want to, you know, get all the spring vibes going, okay, here in the collective, here in the circle chats. And it is a really good idea to stay ahead of the curve and get a jump start on things. So I'm encouraging myself, my wonderful co-host, and all of y'all who are watching live and catching the replay to really make sure that you do spring cleaning for your business, okay? So that means that during this time of the year, it's time for us to take note of small tweaks and you know, little things that we can do to improve our business. And I know that, you know, whether you want to look back to January 2023 or not, I feel like it's a really good idea to do that because that is a time of the year where we set all of these audacious goals for our businesses, right? And now that we're in March, it may seem like we have strayed from focusing on the business goals that we set for January. So I want to get all of us back to the goals that we set in January um, because we're all about, you know, starting, growing, and scaling in this community for our businesses. And we want to lean on each other for support and for guidance. 
And this is like a time to do it. Okay. So I am so excited. I was thinking about a quote that I could open up the chat with today. And I didn't come up with it until like right before um, we went, you know, live today. And um, the quote that I came up with actually came from the wellness workshop that we had in the collective yesterday. We had Becky Stanton come in and be our wellness expert for the collective. And Becky is a NLP mindset coach. She also does some tapping, some said, Reiki, and said, some breath work. I said, did I go and into the fucking place I apologize. And Y'all, I'm a mom that's working from home and I apologize for that. Yeah. Sometimes things just be popping off. So to all the moms that they're like <laughs> late, I don't know if this has happened to y'all on calls, but it does happen. So let's get right back into it. Um, so <laughs> basically, um, yeah. So Becky is a mindset coach. She does some tapping, some Reiki and some breath work. And she brings a soulful and holistic approach to mindset coaching. And she's all about empowering women on their business success journey. And I am going to say, I'm quoting Becky right now. Becky says, ambition is a beautiful thing. End quote, okay? So ladies, my question to you is, what ambitions do you have for your business, your clients, and your students? And we're looking at like two to five years from now. And also, I want to know, how do you plan on really stepping into your higher self so that you can get to your next level? Good question. That's such a great <laughs> question, Steve. Um, I'll I guess I'll take the lead here. So um, for me, um, whoa. <laughs> wow, sorry. I just, I just had a total brain fart there. <laughs> um, so I plan on like stepping into the next level right now. Um, as you know, I've talked about it a bunch. I I'm in the middle of a rebrand. I'm almost there to launch my website. So that's super, super exciting. And I've already started like changes in the way, like my email marketing looks and things like that. Um, cause I'm going to, I want it to all roll out together, but um, one of the big things I did was I hired myself a business coach and that has helped me immensely. And this is going back to January even because like I hired her in January and absolutely, absolutely amazing. And I just, I I'm so excited because one of the next steps for my business is I'm going to be selling templates, uh, so that you can easily get into show it and drag and drop using a template if you can't afford to hire a designer. And I'm definitely going to make sure that that's at a great price point because I know there's some templates out there and I'm just like, how are they charging that much money for a template? <laughs> right. So um, anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to be doing that. And there's a, there's a lot of things happening to help me level up this year. So it's looking very exciting. <laughs> Yeah, I really love that question as well. And I feel like there's basically two different components that I'm looking at in terms of leveling up. Um, since November, I've been working on creating a group program because I really want to expand my in impact <laughs> that I'm able to have on other female entrepreneurs. And I really want to shake up the system in terms of helping women to really follow their life path. And I feel like that's something that can be really difficult in our society due to a number of reasons. And I would really like people to follow follow their life path, follow what feels in highest alignment for them, follow what, what they're really meant to do. And my course is going to help them market themselves and get their, get their financial goals in place, get their client goals in place, and really just set them up for success. Um, the other side, so definitely my first part of it is launching this program, which is going to be later in the spring. Um, and then starting to be able to possibly build up a team around this to support everybody that's going to be within this community 
So I'm really, really excited for this to launch and to have an even greater impact on a greater number of women and to empower women to reach their highest potential. But then also at the same time, I'm also hoping to focus more on my wellness and overall well-being. And as a yoga teacher, I'd like to promote this within this new community and have people set up, get the systems and different aspects in place so that they can have a more holistic approach to their to their life, find balance in their life. Like, yes, we're going to go through some hustle periods, which I'm in that hustle period right now, but how to, we talked about this in the wellness workshop, how to break out of that hustle cycle and find more flow, whether it's creating a program that can be a little bit more leveraged income, creating a better structure for your business, getting different systems in place so that your marketing can be on repeat, which is actually one of the names of my modules, marketing on repeat. Um, so really how your business can be set up to support your overall life, your well-being, your health, and everything else that as women, it's really important for us to take care of ourselves. So I hope to do that for myself and then help other women do that as well. That's awesome. I feel like, you know, it's a good question in terms of longevity, because otherwise it's like, you know, where are you going to go? Is this going to last? You know, especially because like evergreen businesses is kind of like a, something that comes up every once in a while. But it's like, I think it, since my end, it's more of like nonprofit related, you know, it, well, it is a nonprofit. So, you know, where the way that I feel us going to in five years is I I feel like at this point, it's like, I'm ready to expand, you know, it's of course like tutoring is great. And that's something that I want to continue doing on like, kind of like more of like a, you know, a selective basis, but I'm really looking at like immersive programs. Like, cause my aspect is like students as well as professionals and businesses, because I'm tutoring primarily adults who are like, I want to live in this other country. I want to do this. And I'm like, well, why are we not creating corporate programs? Like programs to market to a lot of companies, because that way it's like, this is all relevant to what you're trying to do, which is like, you're using the language as an adult, you're using the language specifically for what you need, which is like job, make friends and whatnot. Um, and so I think that that's relevant rather than learning all these other things that are vocabulary that's like not really useful. Um, so it's like very much like business focused, how to talk about what you do. As well as one thing I feel like people neglect is talking about circumlocution. Like how do you work with the vocabulary that you have and learn how to ex ask someone to explain something to you you don't understand without having to use your own native language? You know, those kinds of things. I've spent a lot of time researching um, through academic journals and a lot of different um, sources of trying to figure out the most effective ways to teach, you know, um, so, and then on a student basis, it's like trying to get those students to come into more of a, um, oh, Jazzy, I think she's frozen. Oh no. Yes, so Jazz is having some technical difficulties, which we all know as women with online businesses, this happens sometimes. So we will just wait for Jazz. Well, we'll continue the conversation and Jazz will eventually rejoin us. Um, so I am actually going to tackle this question. As far as ambitions for my business, um, I am really connecting to my purpose with my business. I am very spiritual. I have been, anyone who's been following me on Instagram knows that on Sundays, we do virtual church around here in the Parker household. So I have really been tapping into um, really connecting with God and seeing what God has for me, like what my purpose is. And I've been leaning on letting Jesus take the wheel, y'all, okay? <laughs> because I would like, for, I would just like things to organically happen in my business. I was so stressed when I first started my business two years ago. I was trying to control everything. I was frustrated by uh, the fact that I wasn't hitting my financial goals with my business within the first year. And I have leaned more into now um, relaxing and 
knowing that everything is going to happen when it's supposed to happen. And I can't miss my blessings. My blessings are meant for me and they will come when they're supposed to come. So my ambition is to really get connected to the higher power and co-create with the higher power of this beautiful business that I'm in love with, that I'm obsessed with. And you know, help as many women, specifically moms who have online businesses, create wealth for themselves through an online business, um, whatever that looks like for them. And I want them to know that they don't have to choose between their business and their babies. They can raise their business and raise their babies at the same time. And I'm proof of that. And I am there to help them do that as well. So I just see like this beautiful, like, mompreneur empire in like two to five years and then I see all my clients having the same thing and like this amazing community where we just all support each other and go hand for each other and I'm just like we just all vibing like it is beautiful so um as far as how do I plan on stepping into my higher self y'all this is the hard part I need to be more aware of self-sabotaging behaviors so Becky talked about this in the wellness workshop that we had yesterday, where there are rituals that we can do that can help us not fall into the trap of self-sabotaging behaviors in our business and in our personal lives. So for me, the first step is being aware. So I'm going to actually um, stop myself before I go down like a negativity, like rabbit hole and ask myself some questions like, oh my gosh, like, why are you feeling like this? What's going on, Vanessa? And then I'm going to pull out my iPhone and I'm going to talk myself off of that negativity ledge, y'all. So <laughs> that is what I'm doing. Um, anybody who wants to connect with me about that, definitely slide into my DMs. I would love to explore this more with y'all. Um, I am going to be sharing more about this journey on Instagram because I feel like it's really going to help me like, you know, step, step it up, like get into that higher version of me. I love that. That's like, I love that you're growing a community and you're fostering growth within a community of other like-minded women, uh, who you relate to, who are also your clients. That's absolutely amazing. And I do have a question for that. So fostering a growth mindset in your business involves, involves focusing on learning, embracing challenges, and viewing failure as an opportunity for growth. So how are you ladies fostering a growth mindset when it comes to your work? Because I know for myself, I've recently started attending local networking events. I went to my first one back in December. And what's really cool about it is I actually found my wedding photographer there. And then the second I found her, I was like, girl, you're coming to Mexico. And I bought, I bought her plane ticket. Like she is coming, right? So like, I booked her immediately. And it's all because I went to that networking event. But then on top of it, she also needs somebody um, as well. So then like, doing stuff like that. I'm also, I'm started, I've started to create a community around myself, participating in online communities. It's another great, great way to start fostering and growing a community. I have found, um, bucket, well, <laughs> easy, easy, easy. <laughs> the collective. Hello. Right. Come on, come on. Yeah, the Facebook groups, right, such as this one right here. There's tons of Facebook groups out there. There's a million and 17,000 Facebook groups out there for a million and 17,000 things. And so you you can go in there, connect, start making a community. Or you know what? You can grow your own damn community and start your own Facebook group. So also another big thing that helps me is collaborating and starting to do collaborations. I have a huge collaboration coming up starting next week with an SEO, with an SEO specialist. There's this collaboration here that we've done with uh, the bucket list bombshells. And I feel like really opening up yourself to things like that is going to help you 
foster and grow that community and have that. And it's also going to inhibit you to want that growth mindset. And it's going to be like, Oh my God, look what's happening. Look what's ha- I got to keep going. I got to do this. So like, what are you ladies doing that, that you feel that, that you can relate to in terms of that? Yeah, I can really, really connect to what you're saying, Kat, in terms of growing the community and connections. I feel like those are two things that before a year or two ago, I feel like I wouldn't have valued them to the extent that I do today and right now. And also same, I'm working with different collaborations. I'm collaborating with another female entrepreneur and we're going to be launching, um, we've announced it like just a little bit, uh, a retreat that we're both hosting together in collaboration in end of July, which I'm super excited about. It's been in the back of my mind for the longest time. And I was just connecting with this girl who had maybe been connected with about a year or so. We were in contact on and off. We knew we hit it off. We I don't know. So I'm like, okay, we're going to, we're going to work together and do this on a call. We're just like, oh, we've both been really interested in the idea about hosting a retreat. And if I wouldn't have connected with her, I would have been like, okay, maybe I'll do that in five years from now. Okay. Maybe in the future, but Mm -hmm. I feel like connecting with other people, it can spark something inside of you and can open up new opportunities of growth and development. And so this is really something that I'm going to be um, cultivating and really emphasizing within the community, the the program that I'm creating, because recently I've been thinking it was originally supposed to be three months. And now I'm thinking about moving it actually to six months so that you have three months to take the course and then three months to integrate and to connect with other people, because I'm really seeing that 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 connecting, um, once I have all the foundation, the foundations, the tech, everything is really, really important, getting all your systems in place. Everything is really important, but I feel like what has been the most beneficial for me has been connecting with other people like these wonderful ladies mm-hmm. and connecting within the Bucketless Bombshells community and connecting in other, other courses and other masterminds that I've been a part of. And I feel like creating this network around you, this support system just really cultivates that growth mindset really opens up your mind. I feel like I've been connecting with people who are living all around the world and my mind has just been open so much to different possibilities and different cultures. And I feel like it's just really expanded, expanded me and make just helping me to make myself a better person. It totally does yeah. expand you. Like I honestly, my copywriter who I work with, I met her in the bucket list bombshells design skills, Facebook group. Um, Cause she's also a, uh, she's a BB alumni. So, um, we connected and honestly, we now work together. We were doing a client together. Like we're doing all of these awesome things now. And had I never responded to her post looking for somebody and it started off with like the silliest thing. It was a trade. It was a trade. Like it was like, can you, it wasn't even really a trade. She wanted to bring her copy portfolio to life by working with the designer and we kicked it off so hard that we're going into business together so, like, I mean it's it's amazing and like it's so important to be reaching out there and like making those connections anywhere you can mm-hmm. yes okay I agree with you and with Julia it, it's the connections and what I'm getting from y'all is building relationships right mm-hmm. You Mm -hmm. have to take time out of your busy schedule as a woman with an online business, right, to build authentic relationships. So Mm -hmm. if anyone takes anything away from this conversation right now, it's building authentic relationships is key to growing your business and reaching your business goals that you set for 2023. Mm-hmm. Jazz is back. Hi, Jazz. Hi, Jazz. Hi, oh. Jazz is having possibly back. Jazz is having a day. <laughs> we love you, Jazz. <laughs> how are you? How are you fostering growth, Vanessa?
Yeah, so basically networking. I love to do in-person networking. I love to do networking online. I, wherever I go, I let everybody and their mama know that I do website design and I'm a techie. So I'm always up to date on like the latest um, tech platform to use when running an online business. So I'm just, you know, what's funny is actually, for anyone who's following me on Instagram, then you know that um, last night I went, well, the night before I went to a gardening workshop at my local library and I wasn't even gonna go cause I was running late, working on my business. Time was like going so fast. I said, you know what? I'm not even gonna make it. But then I was like, you know what? So what from 15 minutes late? So I jump in the V, I jump in the vehicle, I go and I am just like, okay, I'm going to just be present fully in the moment. So I had the best time. I met some amazing people who have the same interest as me, who are really into nature. And at the end of the workshop, I was like, no group photo? Like, what's going on? Like, can we get a group photo? Like, this is a, we have to like document. Do it for the gram. Yes. <laughs> So I grab the, you know, get the librarian, librarian comes in with her phone. I said, you got an iPhone? She's like, yes. I'm like, okay, perfect. She takes the photos. Everyone's holding up their plant. Okay. And well, our seeds that we just put into soil, because they're not fully plants yet. And I said, oh, you can just airdrop it to everybody. And she's like, airdrop. So I, I, I know, I know me being the techie that I am. I went to full tech bay mode. I showed her how to airdrop. And then I showed other people how to turn on airdrop because they never used it before. And I was like, you have a, this beautiful iPhone and you are not even taking advantage of all the benefits of your mm -hmm. iPhone. Once you know how to airdrop, it is going to change your life. <laughs> um, so everyone's excited. I showed them how to airdrop or how to accept the airdrop or start an airdrop. And then I gave out my business cards and I wasn't even planning on doing that. I was really there to serve, be of service and to learn. Um, but it just naturally happened. And I find that God is really placing me where I need to be. And for some reason I made it to that workshop um, and I was there for a purpose. And I feel like that was my purpose. Okay. So I'm really tuning into um, connecting with people in a, in a way that, um, is a part of my marketing strategy. So in-person networking and virtual networking is a way for me to connect with people and to then find people who are in those spaces who just gravitate towards me naturally and say, Hey, like, come be a part of my community. Like, let's go. Like, what are, what are you doing? Okay. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm doing, you know, and really just build that relationship. And I look at it sort of like dating, um, you know, taking time to get to know the person and saying, Hey, do you want to go out for tea? Do you want to like come with me to the next gardening workshop? Do you maybe want to, um, you know, go check out a, a, a show? You know, we have these amazing, um, I live in a town where uh, I don't know if anyone's familiar with Yale University. It's a very prestigious <laughs> Ivy University. I never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> that <Yeah>. sounds foreign. <laughs> <laughs> it is huge. It's like Harvard, okay? It's like it's the Harvard of the East Coast, okay, y'all? So I am very privileged to live in that town, and we have all these amazing. They have this amazing theater company. Um, where like actors like Viola Davis and Lupita Nyong'o have like gone and trained to be these amazing um, actresses who go off and do these amazing films in Hollywood. And they got their start here in the town where like I live. And I just have found out that they had a show coming up. So I'm like, okay, like who can I connect with? Who likes the arts? I am a patron of the arts, okay? Mm -hmm. So that oh, is I also- that. I would go with you folks there. there. What'd you say, That's Julia? Cool. I said I would go with you if I was there. I'm always trying to get my friends <laughs> to go to different shows. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would love that. There's still time. They have um, a show I'm going to this Saturday, actually, called Mojada. 
And then they have another show that's coming up in April. Um, and, and they're very diverse theater shows um, where they focus on like, this show is focusing on, Mojada is focusing on the story of a Mexican um, woman who's a seamstress who immigrates to the United States. The next show was about um, a black family during the 60s and during the time of desegregation of the school systems. So I am just so excited um, and I'm social. So after the show's over, you know, I'm gonna have some questions for the actors, okay? Because I need to get in their heads and see how they tap into their creativity so I can get some pointers for myself. But who knows, like I could make this amazing connection. Um, so I'm just, you know, open to whatever is um, meant to be for me as far as connections go. Yeah, you literally have, you can build a community literally anywhere you go. Like it's, it's absolutely, it's absolutely crazy. You just have to, just have to talk to people. Yeah, <laughs> I actually- Put um, the phone down. <laughs> Yeah, I connected with a couple other online entrepreneurs and like this other mastermind that I am a part of. And I had known this girl for maybe about over like maybe two years, possibly. And when I was in Portugal, I saw that her and her husband and her little cute daughter, I saw they were all in Portugal too. And they're staying in Lagos. And so I met up with her in person and we had dinner with this other girl that I met that I had been connected with as well. And she was also in Lagos at the same time. And then this other girl too. And they were like, oh, this like wonderful group of entrepreneurs. And we had this really fun dinner together. And if I wouldn't have reached out to them, if I saw that they were in Portugal, or if I wouldn't have connected with them a while back, I, we wouldn't have had this awesome dinner. And who knows, maybe I'll um, keep connecting in the future. And some, I don't know, an opportunity, something could come up, we could work together on something, mm -hmm. or it could just be a fun connection. So <laughs> you really never know. And don't be afraid to reach out to people. I think that sometimes we can let ourselves hold ourselves back and like, oh, maybe this person doesn't want to hear from me. Oh, why, why do they want to talk to me? We can have these self doubts, at least I can, at least in the past, that can come into your mind, but just go for it. The worst thing that can happen is they don't respond to you. And that's really not, not really that bad. So that's <laughs> That's so valid. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I still experience that yeah. where mm -hmm. I'm just like, Oh, like, should I even, <laughs> and then I'm just like, just do it. Like, yeah. But you're absolutely right. Like, mm -hmm. Oh my God. The sun is coming through these blinds. Like, crazy. I mean, yeah. Like worst thing. They just don't respond. And, like, <laughs> and then it just wasn't meant to be. Right, I, right. And I look at like rejection as God's protection, you oh, know? Yes. So Rejection is God's protection. Somebody type that into the chat. Rejection is God's protection because you can't miss what is for you. And if somebody says no, it just means that they're just not for you. It wasn't meant to be. And mm -hmm. that means that there's space that opens up for somebody who is for you, right? Mm -hmm. That no, like if you are on a, on a call, on a sales call, okay, as a business owner, with a potential client and they decide that now is not the time to work with you and they say no right to move forward with you that's okay because mm -hmm. that next person that you could talk to could be the person that is your dream client right mm -hmm. and you could have missed yeah. out on them but you didn't because that person that you had talked to before them said no so yeah. you know really changing the perspective into like a a positive perspective can really help you um, with knowing that sometimes things are just not meant to be and you may not, you don't need to know why, right? But you have to keep going. You have to keep going and know that what is for you will come to you all in divine time. Yeah, it's so important not to dwell on things that don't go your way. Because the next thing could just be right around the corner. But like, if you're over there sulking in a corner about something that could have been, but wasn't when there's a million and seven other opportunities out there, like you're doing yourself a disservice, disservice. Yes. Okay. It sounds like a, like an old school nineties, uh, R and B song, like soaking in the corner. I feel like 
I feel like I could be like Usher on the bed with my arm up crying. Like, <laughs> you know, this girl, just, I try to ask this girl, this person out for a date. They said, no, like they rejected me. Like I'm all alone. You know, like it's important to make time for that because emotions are real. And I'm a cancer, y'all. So <laughs> I'd be really being in my emotional sensitive bag, right? Mm-hmm. But like I ride the emotion and it passes and I'm like, okay, like dust, dust it off and keep going. Like I have to yeah. keep going. Gotta keep going. And when you Failure. feel like you can't keep going, connect with us in the collective. Send, you know, yeah. send an SOS message. You know, you could just say SOS. Yeah. I will reply to you. I got you. Okay. (laughs) Honestly, like recognizing failure as an opportunity for growth is such a growth mindset, because if you actually take a step back and be like, okay, why didn't this launch work? What what went wrong? What, what went wrong? What didn't, what went right? Like Mm -hmm. if you actually just pull it apart and look at it like I I believe today we were even talking with Shay about surveys like you know surveying your audience being like okay hey like how is this working how is that working why didn't you buy from me like I spent so much time on this launch right all these marketing emails and you didn't sign up what was the reason so like it's important to like analyze what you're doing and how you can improve it and seeing your failures as stepping stones to success. Yes. I feel like I totally get that because I've pivoted so much in my business. I feel like I literally started with just like, Oh, I'm going to, cause I always, I've always loved YouTube. I'm going to be like, Oh, I'm just going to be a yogi YouTuber. I'm going to make money, blah, blah. I'm like that didn't work out. And then I started an Etsy shop. I feel like I've tried thing after thing after thing. And And when it doesn't feel right anymore, when I'm like, okay, this is not working out. I feel like I've been really good about not being too hard on myself and just pivoting and moving into something that's better in alignment for me, that is going to be, (laughs) it's going to work out better. And we can look up, look at the past and wish like, okay, I wish I wouldn't have gone down all these different directions. Um, But then if you didn't go on all these different directions, then maybe you wouldn't be where you are right now. And I also wanted to say something off of what V had said a little bit before, that if you get rejected by a client, lots of times it means a not now. I was talking to this holistic doctor and I wanted to work on her website. And it was almost a year ago, honestly. I can't even remember how long it was, (laughs) but I was talking to her about her website a while, while back. And she didn't, she wasn't really ready to work together. She ended up going with somebody else, didn't work out (laughs) with the other person. And now we're going to be starting to work together starting in April. So lots of, t- <laughs> lots of times, thank you. It just means that they're not ready in the moment and they might come back to you. So <laughs> Ooh, some- yes, Julia, the follow up. <laughs> Listen, y'all, if you are, n- I'm about to drop a gem. <laughs> the follow up. Somebody type in the chat, follow, the follow up. <laughs> you must. I should make like a manifesto y'all like I'm feeling this like maybe I'm feeling this because it's, this is the last this is the finale episode and I'm a little like sentimental right now but I feel like we got to get like a manifesto a bb circle chat manifesto of like commandments like 10 commandments and like one of them have to be you must follow up okay <laughs> because like Julia said, no, doesn't mean no, it just means not right now. Mm-hmm. And sometimes exactly. it's for the best. I mean, I had a client where she was like, I'm going to pay all this money for like, so, you know, for all of these hours. And then she got the time wrong. And she said, I showed up at this time and no one's there. I want a refund. And I'm like, you canceled within 12 hours of the session of the of my policy 12 hours between now and the session then you sh- the invoice said that we're going to go I'm, we're going to be online three to six not one to six and she's like I'm completely outraged by that so in that case it's like okay well um it's like well okay like I can't words that were I was off 
I'm like, but you misread what was on the invoice. So I'm not really responsible for that. And I'm like, if you're going to be that way, maybe it's best that I don't work with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, sometimes it's about knowing boundaries. Like sometimes it's about knowing like, you know what? Sorry, bud. We're not a good fit. Like, yeah. you, said, then, I say, I, you said bud k i said bruh <laughs> sorry i'm Canadian. And, I'm <laughs> i love that all right it's like <laughs> sorry bud yeah <laughs> it, it, Not it, a fit, just, um but i can re- recommend someone who might be but yeah. it ain't me <laughs> and jazz is, i'm so glad that you brought up that example because I'm sure like right now you are helping somebody else, right? Because I'm sure that you are not the only person that has experienced that. And catching those red flags is so important. And I had, mm-hmm. I res- that resonates with me because I had some instances like that, but I, it just kind of like went over my head because I was like so excited as a newbie um, in business to just get a sales call, right? I was like, oh my gosh somebody booked with me oh my gosh oh my gosh they clicked my link oh my gosh they actually took time to fill out the contact form oh my gosh they want to talk to me like you know and I was just like so so um excited and then I figured out like okay there has to be a strategy behind this so I'm I'm happy that you actually are open and I want to thank you for being vulnerable vulnerable about that because um you are helping somebody um mentioning like this situation that that happened I actually want to take some time out to see if anybody in the audience has any questions any comments um this is the finale episode y'all so I want like we gotta like have some interactiveness going on like Um, is Emily in the audience yeah Emily's in the house and Emily 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 said like she's She's so sad that this is our last one and that we've all been amazing. Emily, you're amazing. And she's also saying that she totally agrees. It's like when people ask her for a free language class, like she's just not going to do that. Do you know what I would do if I spoke another language and I taught like Tell this? Them. Tell them. Come on, Kay. Tell I, them. <laughs> I would be like, sure, absolutely. And then I would teach them how to say a phrase until they said it absolutely correctly and once they said it correctly I'd be like do you know what you just said and then I would I would say something like you know you you get what you pay for or something along (laughs) a little cheeky response that this ain't this ain't this ain't no hobby (laughs) I mean like it's like years worth of because the thing is like I'm still even learning myself like it's like I constantly spend a whole lot of time I mean just like I actually just ended up raising my rates again <laughs> this year and like about a couple of weeks ago and then I had a new student and she was I think she was she wanted a tutor for her nine-year-old who's like she's like I'm in third grade and my teacher is not teaching me enough like I need a tutor and I was like oh my gosh she's like knows how to count to like a hundred and like colors and like all these different things and I'm like oh, okay um and like the thing was I actually made a mistake I basically thought that our time was an hour later than what we actually had scheduled and I was like so upset because I woke up from a nap because I was like I'll just take nap a little bit longer and then I realized oh I messed up the time and so I was like god please like let me redeem myself because it was like the first time I met I was meeting her and I was like and like apparently she was the one messaging like the mom initiates it but then like the daughter just took over and she's just like yeah we can meet at like 8 30 if that's what you you thought like and then like she enjoyed the lesson so I'm like sometimes it's like you know it's like I'm human I sometimes mix things up so I do my best to make sure that my calendar is accurate but at the same time it's like every now and then it's like oops I missed up and it's like I'm trying my best not to be like oh like you know like I need like wallow in self-pity it's like redeem yourself like at least try to communicate because like all you can do like the best you can do is just to communicate what you put mm-hmm. in your calendar I was like oh yeah yeah she's booking with me again yeah <laughs> yeah because yeah, going good. absolutely cold and dead zero communication like you're obviously like you nowhere <laughs> communication. Like, wow, this person, like, just took my money and just like stood me up or something like that you know that's the second commandment yeah communication communication is a non-negotiable y'all listen second commandment and then yes 
<laughs> Listen, I I feel like a set like another collaboration coming on between all of us, the four of us, okay? And we are gonna create a manifesto. <laughs> but I'm gonna talk to entrepreneurs. <laughs> success no, it is not culty. Okay, how are you gonna do that to me? Listen, I think it's just the word manifesto. Listen, okay, <laughs> like it was in his manifesto. <laughs> we could write a book. It could be an anthology. Let's do an yeah. anthology. Yep, separate essays from each of us from our own perspectives because we all are so unique <laughs> and amazing mm -hmm. business owners in our own right. And we're going to talk, talk about this offline. I mean, I always said I wanted to do a circle chat after dark, okay, <clears throat> where we have these, like, candid conversations about, like, like, basically, you know, like, you know how you go to a party and everyone's on their best behavior, but then everyone gets drunk at the end of the night and then you go to the after party and then everyone's on their worst <laughs> behavior? That's what we need, okay? <laughs> Yeah. I'll be on I my best like, you know, we need to give each other grace <laughs> and give each other grace yeah because we're because only like, human I mean like, like especially thing. like I'm having internet like I'm having internet issues right now because like also my mom is working from home and I move out in like a few months so like it's all and if my brother comes home like the internet's the worst because everyone's devices are on it so I'm like I'm like ugh, like I don't know it's like for me I'm like oh it's just popping in and out but at the same time it's like how many people in the world like I'm not the only one in the world who's had like internet issues no no you're no. not and no, you definitely like will not be the last yeah. Emily like had a question myself, oh, sorry Julia well go ahead go ahead um I was just saying Emily had a question for V um she was asking what are three actionable ways the actual steps I have one answer to this question but what are three actionable steps we can take tonight to leave, uh, can we take tonight, Vanessa, to leave us with some final gems? Ooh, final gems for actionable steps to do what, Emily? Could you clarify for me? To grow your business? Like, what exactly do you want some gems on? While she's, while she's typing, I'm going to give you one actionable step. If you, my friends, <laughs> are looking for how to successfully launch your website, well, have a treat for you. I worked my little butt off. I'm telling you, I worked my butt off on this. Finish it literally today just for this final episode and it's five tips on how to have a successful website launch um, we'll be attaching that uh, to the show notes today so it's going to teach you everything from how to secure that domain name to doing a wireframe which is like essentially a blueprint for your website along with how to write your copy, what to write in that copy, where to get those photos, what kind of photos to use, and how to design it and have a successful launch because you want you want that website to be bringing in the money. So check it out. It's going to be in the chat. And Emily um, has, uh, has responded and she said to grow your businesses. Yes, to grow our business. Yes. Oh my gosh. That is such a good question, Emily. So first off, let me say, Emily, I love you. We, all, I, we all, we all love you. And she's coming to the wedding. <laughs> okay. Emily, I'm going to meet you in person, girl. Okay. Listen, Emily, I'm talking to you, boo. Okay. So, um, three things that you can do to grow your business. Number one, I would say definitely figure out who you want to work with. Number two, figure out what they need. And then number three, figure out how your skills can solve their problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those are the three things that I suggest that you do. Once you get crystal clear on that, you can use that in your Instagram bio. 
You can use that on your website. You can use that in your email marketing. Anything that you do on your business cards. Girl, listen, you can use, go, go ham with that, okay? And what's that, what that is going to do is that is going to let people know exactly who you are, who you help, and what you do. Mm -hmm. And when people have clarity about that, they will buy from you. Confused yeah. people don't buy. Nope. They do not buy. But when they have clarity, they buy. So yes. I want you to be super clear on that and just like shout that from the rooftop. Tell your mama, tell their mama, tell their grandmama, tell their neighbor, tell everybody, okay? Tell us in the collective put up a post in the collective tonight, you know, and just like start getting into the habit of shouting that from the rooftops everywhere you go every single day. Emily, I, I'm giving you homework right now, Emily. I want you every day to at least tell one person those three things. Okay. Can I add to that? Yes, of course. Yeah, I want to add to it. It's also in my, it's also in my guide, but anyway, um, enough about the selfless, selfless plugging. Um, it is also in my guide, but setting actionable goals. So like setting, setting goals that are going to be able to push you forward, like getting email, like email subscribers, right. Start an email marketing right? If you can start an email marketing and get email subscribers, you own those subscribers. It's not like, I think we've talked about this before. It's not like Instagram or like TikTok, where if they were to pull your profile one day, where they were like, you know what? We don't want you on Facebook any group anymore. And they nix your group. Guess what? All those people are gone, right? So just setting actionable goals that are going to start to move you forward even reaching out and building a community. If you don't have a community, like it's trying to attend networking events and just things like that, where you're constantly pushing yourself forward and just keep climbing up that mountain. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd love to add in something. Running up that hill. <laughs> yeah. Running up that hill. I was really thinking that. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, I know Emily and I are both creating um, group programs or courses. So I feel like once we both complete it, um, my suggestion to you and I guess other people, other people too, who are creating a program. So once you have, once you have everything created, you could also go, you could go in the opposite order too. You could, um, you could sell it before you create, but I feel like we're both pretty much creating everything before we go to sell because this is our first, first time. We have a lot of knowledge and we're packaging it all into a course or a program. Um, so once it's completed, next step is to market, 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 um, to work on your personal branding. People buy from people. And so in, in the, in the new age we're entering into of AI and new technologies coming into place, um, I feel like it's even more essential for us to be really, really personable in our marketing efforts, which is definitely what I'm going to be talking about in my online course and how, how to start the email list, like, uh, mm -hmm. like, like Kat was saying and why that's so important and how you can just get, get it started as quickly as possible. And I'm also thinking about ways that I can like incorporate AI into the teachings about how to get places and get the result even faster. But I feel like once you finish creating your online course, it's going to be all about marketing. Uh, maybe you start a YouTube channel. Maybe you look into other evergreen marketing strategies. It's going to be about email marketing and how you're really going to spread the word about your program. Are you doing a retreat as well, Julia? Yeah. Yeah, I really want I'm looking forward to it and I really want to come. I can't wait to see the details on it. But me, I don't know, maybe I'm not allowed to talk about it because you haven't really mentioned it, but I'm pretty sure people are gonna definitely interested in heading to Portugal for a, a wonderful retreat. I know I want to go. So 
<laughs> yeah, I, I'm just so excited. Going to be teaching yoga. Um, it's going to be focusing on wellness, well-being, and re-inspiring. It's in a beautiful, we have the location. <laughs> we haven't announced anything just yet because we're still working in some of the other details, like hopefully getting a chef, maybe getting some massage therapists there, um, working on other details um, that we need <laughs> that we need to get in place. But we do have a beautiful villa with a pool and gardens, and it's an hour north of Porto in Portugal which I was just in Portugal and I fell in love with the country. So I'm so excited. And Kat, I would love for you to be there. And I, I know you said, mentioned maybe your copywriter, Kat. So I'd love to have two cats there. Yeah, yeah and two cats, cats copy and design <laughs> might be there. Yes. <laughs> I love that. And you know what, Julia, listen, we got to finish. We got to continue these conversations in the collective, y'all. Because mm -hmm. I am just so happy to see everybody really coming into their own as women in business and online business and all the connections that we're making um, due to the collective, right? Because if it wasn't for the collective, we never would have connected this way. And it all started one day in book club on a, on a Thursday. I remember it like it was yesterday, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and I know I have to I have to be a little dramatic you know y'all I'm going to the theater this Saturday so I'm trying to you know embrace my the dramatics of it all and um you know I just feel like we are definitely going to go a little five like five minutes over because we we're five minutes late y'all it might have been the nerves you know because we knew this was the finale episode but we just want to make sure that y'all really understand how important it is to connect with each other in this community. It is such a beautiful space that Cassie and Shay have worked tirelessly. I mean, I don't even know how many late nights they had. I don't know how many times they want to throw their laptops out of the window, okay? But they created the space and it is beautiful and it's for us. And I would just love to see more connection in there more comments, more posts, more attendance in book club, more attendance um, during the wellness workshops. Like this is for us. And I really want us to um, use the resources that are available to us. Um, I've never been a part of a space like this before that has been so resourceful. And Shay and Cassie truly care about women in online business. And they you can tell they put their blood, sweat, and tears into this. Mm -hmm. And I have, I just feel so passionate. Like I want everybody to win and I want there to be a community where we can really support each other and change the game for what it looks like to have a business in 2023, because ladies, we are here. Okay. And we are here to just, create basically share our amazing god-given talents our skills and help transform lives i come at business from a service perspective um i am here to be of service and i'm using what i have to be of service and mm -hmm. i know that that is my purpose and whatever your purpose is i want y'all to make it known in the collective, make it known in the community group here, um, because this space is created for us to do just that, to connect with each other and build community. Yeah. Emily added to that, which um, is so true. It's There's also a very cool yoga bar and Pilates fusion class once a month now. So you also get like yeah. access once a month to a, a, a Pilates and bar studio in your own home. But for me to add on top of that, it's like having a business coach without having to pay the crazy amount of money for a business coach. So if you are looking to grow and you are wanting to like invest in your business, then you know what? invest in your business. Like, what are you doing? Like then invest in your business and sign up and check it out because you get two free weeks. And it's like having your very own business coach where there's lessons twice a week and take or, or a takeaway once a week within book club and some kind of lesson. It is the best thing 
absolutely ever. It has changed my life. It's changed my business. It has changed my whole game. And 100%, 10 out of 10, always going to recommend it. Yes. Always. I'm going to be shooting Shay's name like for till the end of days. <laughs> <laughs> Join the collective. Yeah. I am an artist. I am in a cult. Oh my God. (laughs) I mean, because I know like, because for me, I think when, because when I first started, I actually was not working full time. So I remember like, you know, having that access to being able to just like, because I know like sometimes like, especially when you start your business, like you may not be like, you know, you know, you may not, oh, you know, have like the free time during the day, but I felt like for me, I had to make time, even like I'm at work, I still like, I literally, when we have nothing to do, I literally put book club on and my boss is so cool. She's just like, you got all your work done, like do whatever. So, cause I really want to make those bar classes. But the thing is, is like, I'm always at work. So I'm like, I'm trying to find like days where I can like use my comp time to take off for it. Cause I'm like, cause it's, it's offered. I'm like, I want to like take advantage of what, you know, what I'm paying for. Mm-hmm. yes I love that jazz and shout out to your boss who like is cool okay I wish I had a boss like I mean if I had a boss like that I probably never would have wanted to start an online business <laughs> because she is cool like from what you're telling us she is um if you could just let the audience know who your boss is um where you work and you know what you do that would be great Mm-hmm. yeah because I work for a circuit court judge so like circuit courts where all the felonies or like the high profile lawsuits are <laughs> so it's not always like the most fun thing you know fun things that we that we deal with but um she is actually the only black judge that is in the 22nd district uh circuit court so and she like came, came in blazing she's like I'm gonna put all these black quotes it's Oprah Frederick Douglass we've got you know like uh, John Lewis and then like there's one where it was like she's like oh this is too radical and it's like literally putting up like all of these bl- different black women in history and it says powered by the black woman before me and I'm like no put that right in front of my desk so people yes. walk in they can see it you know <laughs> we're black and we're proud so um but yeah she's like I want to be a flexible boss so yeah. I don't want to be in a supporting role forever because I love working for her and I do like learning about legal aspects but like I'm always in the back of my mind thinking okay my next plan is getting my master's my next plan is what am I doing after that like to make sure that when I get out of my master's I got to make money you know and I also got to I want to start some programs so longevity right and this is the importance of the collective because I really connected with you jazz in the collective and you just right now saying like you don't want to work for her forever well guess what I have a paralegal certificate I don't know if y'all know this or not but when I went to business school um we had to choose like a a minor so I focused on business and my minor was legal studies so I got my certificate in paralegal studies I worked at a law firm for about two years it was a real estate law firm and um if you need a replacement like you got to pass the torch I might just have to move to Kentucky (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> for like a year or two to take your spot um so we got to talk after this is over because uh, there might be an opportunity there I don't know what my kids are going to do <laughs> but yeah. I'll fi- I mean, I'll make it work that's really funny. I mean like especially I like, like so many connections and like my my boyfriend actually works for a real estate law firm so that's so funny <laughs> So funny that you said that. I feel like we always have these like just funny coincidences and connections within our amazing circle here. Yeah. I think you just they're... take what you need from it and then just eventually we have to move on when we need to move on. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because nothing lasts forever. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's meant to be will be. <laughs> que sera, sera. Did I say that right, Jazz? Wait, wait, wait. I didn't catch that. <laughs> que sera, sera. Yeah, like what it it is what it is. Yeah, like yeah. the song. Yeah. Hey, Sarah, Sarah, whatever, whatever will be, be will be. be. The future is not ours to see. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we might have a girl group going on after the circle chats. What do y'all think? I already feel like a dream girl. You know, like I look like a dream girl right now. So, like, you, do. you might have to like I get to it say popping. that earlier. I have to say that earlier. You look good. Yeah, you look damn good. Thank you. I look good. I feel good. Listen, I wanted to make sure that we 
have everyone who's watching like really get into the season finale and I want it to be a celebration because I'm really sad that it's ending for now I am ambitious in knowing putting out to the universe that there's going to be a, a season two okay so stay tuned that is to be determined okay but like I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I love sharing this space with y'all. I love connecting with everybody who's watching live and catching the replay. I've gotten to know y'all more intimately and y'all really have helped me keep going. Also have breathed new life into me on days where I just feel like crap. Okay. Um, I'm so grateful to you, Kay. I'm so grateful to you, Julia. I'm so grateful to you, Jazz, and everybody that's watching. Um, I do this for y'all and I love y'all so much. And of course, I have to thank Cassie and Shay because without them, the circle chats wouldn't be possible. And this anything is possible. So if you're watching this, I just want y'all to take away that anything is possible. Somebody type that in the chat. Anything is possible. Becky, who was our wellness expert for the collective, actually messaged me this morning and and it was just such a kind message. And at the end of the message, she said, anything is possible. Mm -hmm. That was so beautiful. And I, I felt that. So, yeah, like I just feel so grateful to be surrounded by such wonderful and inspiring women. And I feel like that's like the biggest part of being in the collective, just being a part of this energy, being with you guys and being a part of the circle chat has really made such an impact on me. And I feel like it's just provided us such a great opportunity to spread our little words of <laughs> words of wisdom and spread those little gems. Mm -hmm. um, and kind of going off what you said to be, I feel like where your energy and intention goes, um, your energy flows. I don't, I don't know the exact quote, but something like <laughs> something like that, where you put your intention is where your life is going to go. Mm -hmm. And if it feels like it's resonating with you, then you found your life path and purpose. And I feel like connecting with other people will spark different things within you and will help you find your highest possible life path. And I know I can get a little woo-woo sometimes, but I truly do believe in um, uplifting yourself through connecting with others and finding different practices that can put you in that most um, positive state. And I feel like we're all creating a business because we want to have a bigger impact. We want to help other people. Um, like V said, we want to, we want to give back. We want our lives to be even better. We want other women to have even better lives. And I feel like that's part of what being a part of this collective has meant to me and being a part of the circle chats, which we are going to have a season two. Don't know. <laughs> we don't know when it is, but we're, we're manifesting it. So yeah. Yes. I'm you better manifest that Julia. Come on. <laughs> you better manifest that. <laughs> I want I just want to say I love the three of you this Aww. has been an absolutely amazing a life-changing experience and I'm very excited to do circle chats after dark like I'm so I'm so into that um I can be a little bit more a little bit more loose a little bit a little bit more off the cuff than I usually am on here I'm a wild one but um, I, I want to say thank you to Cassie and Shay, uh, for believing in us and giving us this opportunity to share your platform with us and let us talk to your audience and just show them like how amazing something you created is and how our businesses have grown. And from the bottom of our, all three, all four of our hearts. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. The other one for you, Kat. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. How we do that, Ian. Oh, That's you it. do that really clear. That looks like, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Getting creative with the heart. I love it. Yeah. Jazz, final words. I mean, I feel like we're just all going around bearing our, our souls. Like, it's only right that you go next. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, it's a great opportunity. And, you know, I think it's, for me, it's like, I always love talking about business because, because like, I'm like, I'm literally surrounded by people who went to law school all day. So it's like, I don't really get to talk about like business and like, it's like, I'm like, I'm a psycholinguist, you know, in, in between. So it's like, oh, I can actually talk about people who get me. 
same thing kind of like when I in the collective, even though like I'm sort of different because I'm registered as a nonprofit, but still really business principles are relevant no matter where you are, even if you're a leader. Because like I always tell, tell people all the time, you know, I feel like I may not, I may be a teacher in many cases, but I really overall see myself as more like of a CEO type of ment mentality because I see things as a whole. And so, you know, it's so great to have a community where you can actually talk to people about this because there's some people like, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes you might have people in your family who are like, I don't get entrepreneurship, like just get a real job. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, mm -hmm. <laughs> like your real job was started by like people who work at like Kroger, you know, a grocery store. Somebody actually was an entrepreneur and created that. Like you don't work for just like something that just existed. Someone had to create it. Mm -hmm. So I think it's always great to have a community of people that like get you more than anything else. So very grateful for Cassie and Shay. Agreed. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you ladies for being vulnerable and open up your hearts with everybody every single week for the past eight weeks, every Thursday. And I know it's not easy. We all have, you know, other commitments outside of here, but it just goes to show that when, you know, there's a purpose for you, um, everything will fall into place and will happen the way it's supposed to. And this was meant to be. So mm -hmm. thank you so much. And I want to know, like, do we have any last minute comments, any last minute questions? I know we're running over a little bit, but it's so hard to let go, y'all. Like, I <laughs> <laughs> this is the last episode yeah. and before we do a celebratory toast I want to know like how first off I want to know like should there be a season two okay so if you're watching this live or you're catching the replay type yes season two Emily is saying she's definitely going back now to binge watch all the episodes that she's missed. Um, and yeah, she's, uh, she, she can't wait to see them. And she wanted to say that we're all amazing and there should be absolutely a season two. Oh, thank you. Emily. Love you, Emily. <laughs> oh my gosh. Listen, I'm I'm going to try not to cry y'all, but that that's beautiful Emily. Thank you so much. I appreciate you and I and your love and support means a lot. Yeah. Okay, well, we've gone quite over for our last episode, but we've all said our goodbyes. And it's been it's been amazing and thank you. Yeah, thank you everybody. Wait, <laughs> wait, like hold hold on. Celebratory toast, y'all. <laughs> Everyone raise your glass. I have, I have an empty smoothie. I have a chip. That cup. works. <laughs> Julia, I know you got your phone. Can you take a, a a boomerang of us for the gram one last time? You are so good at this. Right. I I I need you to do your thing, girl. I have to like turn this around so no one knows that this is not this is non-alcoholic. This is this is a Perrier mineral water. This is not alcohol. I, <laughs> I love Perrier. No shame in that. I love it. I drink it like it's water, literally. Okay, let me know when everybody is ready. I actually have to click boomerang. Okay. Okay. So cheers to the circle chats season one finale and season two to come right okay boom right actually wait it didn't work that's <laughs> really okay <laughs> julia why are you messing with us you play my emotions come on julia <laughs> <laughs> right okay now let's try it again okay, okay. in three two one Okay, that was that was good. <laughs> Perfect. You have a cute, a cute love you guys. Day. I can't wait to see it. Send it to me. I will mm -hmm. tag you guys. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone, for watching and tuning in. Catch the replays in the Bucket List Bombshells Community Facebook group, and you can also check the replays in the Bucket List Bombshells YouTube channel and comment. You know, we would love to 
keep these conversations going. Thank you so much, Cassie and Shay, for providing all of us with this opportunity. We love you. We're forever grateful. And stay tuned for uh, season two. The date is to be determined, okay? So with that being said, we wish you lots of prosperity in your online business. And we would love to see and connect with you and the collective side into our DMs as well. We love you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.